Hello YouTubers, this is Sean with Future View Gaming, and this is Episode 5 of Tactical Advantage. In this one, I talk about Rush on Sand Crossing. Now lately, I have kind of fallen back in love with the vanilla maps, especially the urban maps. And I have always liked Rush, but I've been kind of on a Rush binge or Close Quarters binge, which most of my videos have featured. Pretty soon, I'll be changing it up. I'll be getting on Aftermath a little bit more, but... For some for some reason these maps just kind of call my name like Sand Crossing Rush is a bitch to defend and attack from the first bomb set to the last bomb set. So let me give y'all a little idea of what I do when I'm attacking anyway. Now the secret to winning these first bombs is communication. Communication with your squad, your team, and all that. Now you'll see a few mistakes during this match that I do make. Like right here, you'll see my buddy Smoking Gun. He goes in and he gets killed on A. Now, I was going to go for... I was thinking about going in and reviving him because he is my partner. And I shoot my teammate because I didn't see the name above his head until I'd already started shooting. But I was like, you know, I'm going to take this as a chance to push to the backside of B. As you know, B-Bomb is probably one of the hardest bombs to take. And it is definitely the hardest on this set. This is right there. I kind of fell with the grenade. And I don't realize it until I get right up on it. But I make a pretty good recovery. I go over here, get my health back. I'm waiting on them to rush me, but they don't really try and rush. So I get the medic who was trying to rush. Shade back over here behind us, try and pillar this. Get the medic who revives him, kill him again. And you can actually get a lot of kills off of people just off of people trying to constantly revive. This is my mistake right here where I push in and get picked off by the corner camping sniper who knows I'm over there. Now, this is where teammates are awesome and smoking smoking gun will officially be part of my team PTFO squad. He's still learning the game and he'll definitely be doing really well. I got to give him a shout out on this video because he was <coughs> probably one of the main reasons we did so well. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Just took a shot of Bacardi, so <laughs> It's still kind of sitting in my throat. Anyway, as you see right here, we're trying, we're we're keeping B bomb covered. We got a couple people back here, and front hallway right there, the front stairway is always a huge clusterfuck of death. But you cannot forget about this little backside, like right there where the little sniper buddy boy who got me earlier was trying to sneak in. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna get my revenge this time. Now you see Joe, he's letting me know when people are pushing through here, and I'm like, all right, let's get out of here. Because you see all the people dying up there. We could go for revives. We could go and help our team. But at this point, I would rather make an advanced push. Now, on this next set of bombs, B is, again, the hardest out of the two to really take if you don't get there first. Now, you see, on this first set, we took A first, then we took B. And we took it pretty quickly, which we were really, really fortunate they didn't dig into B so quickly. I like to get to B while A is at least flashing because A serves as a good distraction. On this one, you have to get B first. You can go to A first, and I know there's a lot of people who will say, oh, well, A is the best way to go. No. Personally, I believe it is easier to just go out here and take B because you have to swim to B. And most people are covering A automatically from the start because it's easy to cover. It's right there on the bridge, and people can get up in the buildings and snipe for it. So if you can get to B and get it set before the enemy comes to put any pressure on it like you see we got a flashing already which surprised me which I was like you know that's good that means the enemy is gonna focus more on a anyway because it's as I said the easiest one to access now you see I picked this guy off over here and as you'll notice I'm running my AUG which has become one of my go-to kits lately with the suppressor and honestly I am still really really surprised at how well the AUG performs with the suppressor I believe the other day or last night actually I had a game I went like 70 and 26 with the AUG using this setup on Metro on Conquest and we were actually triple cats for a good portion of that match and it was really me and Smoking Gun and my buddy Chiwi who really kept our team kinda in the hunt for a while even though we did lose that match because for every time we pushed we would break through we'd go straight back in I'll skip B and get C why? Because you'll get the C, and it'll take them longer to get back there. You'll have people respawning back there in that area probably from getting killed up in the front, but you're not going to have so many people getting killed that two or three good 
replaced people can't take care of. Right here, I make a mistake. I down. I have like no ammo, and I make a mistake of just going straight into the bomb, not watching my back, not keep an eye out for Buddy Boy to knife me. Fortunately, again, smoking gun saves my ass. He gives me the revive, so I let him get the bomb and get over here. I try and keep these guys from killing him. I believe he still got shot down. I pick up this guy's kit, which this guy's kit kind of disappointed me. It's an M416 with a foregrip, which makes no sense. Suppressor, I guess it's a nice touch, kind of like with the AUG. I like the suppressor. I, I won't say too much bad about suppressors in this game. They're, they're really, to me, they're really nice. And it's got the reflex. The part that m really messed me up about this kit was, I was like, okay, you know, this guy, he has kind of a noob setup with the foregrip on it. But, you know, what the hell. Maybe he'll have a pretty worth worthwhile setup. And you see right here, I picked this guy off. Once again, I'm having to re kind of readjust to the 416 from the AUG that I've been running this whole match. So, yeah. Now, right there, if I had my AUG, I wouldn't have won that gunfight. I would have been killed by this other guy. So, I gotta say, I'm thankful for that kit. But, the kit didn't have a med pack, which kind of messed me up. It had the, M2, the M26 mask, which I have, I believe, absolutely zero kills with. Right there, I still have no idea what killed me. It was just a big-ass, random explosion out in the middle of the field. And by now I'm getting revived. You know, it's kind of nice. I'm, 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 I've been getting revived a lot. My teammates are doing real good. Me and Smoking Gun, we're really kind of supporting each other. We're keeping each other running. And this TCD dude was awesome. I mean, this guy followed pretty well with our example. He listened to our chat and kind of tried to cover us pretty good. And this is where I'm like, yo, dude, we need to get the, we need to get out of here. And I get rubble killed. You know. I do have a um, video called Rubble in the Crossing, so y'all get to finally see me take a Rubble kill. That's actually the third time I've been killed by Rubble in my entire Battlefield career, which is pretty good, I think. Now, I respawn. I'm like, nah, dude, let me respawn. Let me get my own kit back out, and let's get the hell out of here. The bomb's been taken. There's no reason to sit there no more. Once again, on Sand Crossing, B is the target. B will always be my main target. Unless I know that it's just really, really heavily covered from the start. Then I will push A. On these bomb sites, a lot of the time I'll push A because you can get the armor over there and it's a pretty easy take. But I'm like, today, now nah, I'm going to push for B first. Because B is really a pain in the ass to take because they spawn right on it. And right there, I get the nice little double kill. I'm trying to get the TCD, but unfortunately, I couldn't do it. And right there, it's... I could have rushed straight in to try and revive him even with the two guys over there. And my thought process was, you know, I'd rather stay alive and give him a spawn beacon if he give him a mobile spawn beacon if he wants. As you see, Smoking Gun already made it in the B. He's already got it set. And we're going to try and cover it. This area right here is probably the best area to cover B from, in my opinion. I'll use this area a lot when I'm trying to cover it because you, you have the countertop that you can prone behind like I'm doing here. You have a wall that you can shade behind. So, you have a lot of cover over here. And right there, that's where two people are getting picked off. So, I'm like, you know what? Let me go get the quick revives. The guy's lit, so he's pulling back. He's not a medic, so he's not going to push ha too hard forward. So, I go over there and pick him off. And it's like, okay. We got B set again. Somewhere in the chaos of us trying to cover and take B, they actually, we actually have our teammates get A. Which I believe happens when I'm outside. Actually, no, I think it's about to happen right now. Anyway, you see right here, I'm still kind of pissed I didn't get that kill. I'm usually really good at getting the wrecks. And it's Buddy Boy's kit again. Now, right here, I should have had the kill on the bomb. If I had had that kill on the bomb, it would have really helped us out a lot. kind of pissed me off that I couldn't finish that kill. Because if I had taken out that guy on the bomb, these other two guys would have been so focused on killing me that we probably would have gotten that bomb site. Because it was right on blowing up. Now you see we got A. A is heavily covered. And that's why I don't push to A. I'd rather take my squad straight to B. Because you can. it's, it's a lot of misdirection that wins saying crossing for you. Now, right here is like, alright, they're expecting us to push straight towards B. So, I'm sitting there talking to Smoking Gun. I'm like, yo, dude, we're going to push down A side. 
we're going to go down the A side, and we're going to try and push in from the side over there. Since our whole team's pushing the other way, there's no point in us trying to take the entire take the entire team through one route. Especially with the way this team is defending over there. Now, right there, I should have had that kill. But, you know, I didn't have too good. I wasn't controlling my recoil like I should have. So, yeah. Now I get the kill assist right here. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm getting sniped. And I'm like, all right. Now you see we're setting the bomb. As soon as I see that bomb set, I'm like, all right, I'm going to make a run for it. Because as soon as that bomb starts beeping, most defending teams who play smart are going to go back towards that bomb. They're not going to sit here and wait. Now right here is where I push in. I get the nice nade on the bomb. And yeah. Anyways, that's going to be that's gonna do it for this video. Here in a second, there's only like 30 seconds left on it. So let me know if you learned something. Tell me if you like this video. And I'll continue to do more videos like this because I do enjoy doing these. And have a nice night, YouTube. Happy New Year.